There is no formula in marriage. Don't be deceived with what you see on social media. Social media has destroyed 99% of marriages. Pray for marriage. And the way the marriage has been damaged now, the way it's destroying, is so alarming. Let God be the center of your marriage. For the Bible said that a man will leave his father and mother. And he will obtain the blessings from God. Who is that blessing? You as a wife. You are a blessing to a man. For a, any family to walk is a woman. For a family to destroy is a woman. There is no two ways about it. There is this trending thing online that I just need to expose today. A lot of men will actually give their wife money for business. Or maybe they did one business and they have to use the woman's account to pay in that money. The woman just screamed shut the, the sleep, post it online. Oh my God, the dog with him has just blessed me with 12 million for shopping. You that have a peaceful marriage will go and fight your innocent husband. Don't you know that some people are even hiring vehicle, hiring machine, just to front online. You will go home to destroy your own home. A lot of people will actually come up to tell you, my husband is giving me one million for upkeep. My husband is giving me two million for upkeep. My husband is doing this one for upkeep. You will go home and destroy your peaceful marriage. Then online people would not ask questions because the demon and the evil has gone inside them. They will just stand up and be destroying a lot of marriages online with their nonsense talk. But let me ask, is there any sin that is not forgiven? Is a question. Because we are all Christians according to you. Because for me, I'm a child of God. There is nothing like Christianity in Bible. Getting Christian as a Christian language is where the children of God are gathering. They now look for a name they will name it. They now say Christ. Let's give it Christ-like. That is meaning of Christianity. But for me, I'm a child of God. You as a child of God that is going to church all the time, hearing word of God. Remember, your institution, your pulpit is your family, your generation and your children. And you will be answerable to it. Some women will tell you, I'm looking for a man that will remove me from poverty. A man that will cater for my family. Who tell you that you, you can't cater for your family? Who tell you a man will make you succeed to your ambition? A man is not actually a potential. A husband is not an achievement. Marriage is just promise of God. It's not an achievement. So if you know you're a career woman, look for a man that will not be intimidated by you being a career woman. A lot of women, their dreams or their talent or their ambition were able to bear it down because they marry a husband who is so intimidated by them because they feel their, their, their future is more brighter than them. A good woman is a blessing to a husband. I know a lot of women who has never bring a coin on the table in a family. Who tell you that a, a woman can raise a family? Yes, a man is the head of the family. A woman is a helper. Who is a helper? You as a wife. Meaning, when a man will have a shutdown, when a man will have, uh, there's a way more people say it. On my time, a man on there went longer ahead. A man and then went issues. A woman will carry on. A woman will carry family. A man will be feeding you without no complaining. But you feeding a man with little. You start coming online to tell me, I feed this man. I fed him. I clothed him. But that doesn't mean they don't have half men. They have half men who cannot even cater for themselves. The same way a, a, women are looking for rich men are the way a lot of lazy men now are looking for richer women. So please, marry your madness. Marry the one you can be able to predict and carry. Yes, a woman's honor is a husband. A good husband, not an infidel. If you don't have a forgiving spirit, don't go into marriage. If you know you can't say I'm sorry, don't go into marriage. If you know you don't know how to pray to God, don't go into marriage. 
If you know you cannot accommodate, don't go into marriage. Marriage is an institution. And marriage is a very beautiful institution. Stop making it look as if marriage is the worst mistake. Because me, I will marry. Other young girls are going to marry. Other young boys are going to marry. And God will bless us with good husband and good wife. In a good home. Please pray for marriages. If you are in marriage, pray for your husband. Husband, pray for your wife. Pray. Stop coming online castigating people. Whereas your home is on fire. Whereas your home is destroyed. Whereas your home, there is no peace in it. But you come online to peer point people. May God bless your marriage. May God bless everybody's marriage. When you are in the as in when you are in center of confusion, at that particular moment, what you need is silence and prayer. Don't bring your family online. Don't bring your family online. Don't bring your family on social media. I beg in God's name. In this new year, I beg we don't want to count millions of divorces to the level of. There are a lot of divorcees are now having divorcee uh, party. And you're happy. You're happy. Did you ask your mother, those women, how they handled their father, how they were able to handle their homes? Please go and ask questions. And pray before you get into marriage. Pray to know if that person is your matchmaker. Because a lot of people rush into marriage and they rush out. Yes, so. Eh? Pray for a good husband. On your quadolino no why? Maybe like a chinek and yege is you bone why? Eh? Everyone can chuku, everyone can go see a gagoba. I go babo qua de fe. Eh? O corobia marama. It's all about one ye. Sebulana yoba no be me work on your gazi bone one ye. One bobia. In a top of the way let go. Sebulana your batigi konye gezi bodi onye genyegi obioma obioma delege marriage is a very beautiful thing. I love you all is your girl favorite girl free white chicken minimal go akweke. Pray for marriages. I love you. Peace.